What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Jared. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about what's been going on with the Jonathan Majors situation. Now, I'm going to say this. The situation with Jonathan Major, with Jonathan Majors, it's proven everything that men have been talking about is true. And what do I mean by this? I mean that you can't trust nobody. You can't trust your girl, can't trust your wife, can't trust no, can't trust nobody. And why am I saying this? It's because it is true. Most women nowadays you cannot trust. And the thing about it is this: this man was shown to be running away from this woman. And now he's gotten dropped from Marvel because this woman lied on him and his name. So, what I'm going to say is this. Black men, white women ain't safe either. White, white women ain't a safe option. They've actually, if you want me to be completely honest with you, they've never been a safe option. Sisters aren't a safe option. White women ain't a safe option. You have no safe options. And here's why I say that. When it comes to when it comes to the law being on on women's side, white women are the ones that's gonna be looked after the most. There's no, there's nothing that you can say that can get you out of a charge. Whatever they say, they start crying them damn tears. You are going to jail. Even if you didn't touch her ass, you are going to jail because she's privileged. Everybody knows that, everybody knows that white women are the most privileged women out there. They're going to cry and say that, oh, we're not the most privileged. No, 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 no. They are the most privileged women out there. You as men have to realize that this whole praise on white women shit that y'all go, that y'all talk about is incorrect. It's false. It's a false idea. Look at the guy that got killed by the white OnlyFans ball. Look at that guy. Christian Openzelli. Got killed by his girlfriend because she went ape shit because he did something or she didn't he didn't do something that she liked. So she deleted him. That is the key sign. And it took her months to get arrested. While this man is de- de- uh, decomposing in a fucking grave. This woman is in Hawaii talking about she's checking into a mental inst- mental hospital in Hawaii. <laughs> Y'all brothers want to sit here and say, oh, we're going to go to a Becky. We're going to go to all these other races of women. These women here in the U.S. will kill you as well as in other countries. But especially here in the U.S., these women are dangerous. <laughs> See... The ideal of ethnism has rotted these women's brains. You do one wrong thing to them. They feel like they're God, her, God himself. They'll take you out of here without even really caring. These women here are deranged. You can't, you can't sit here and say, oh, I'm going to go to a Becky. Excuse me, excuse me. You can't sit here and say I'm gonna go to a Becky if you're a black man. You can't say that. You can't say I'm gonna go to a Maria. You can't say I'm gonna go to a Ling Ling, and especially in the U.S. Because the laws do not favor you, especially you as a black man. The laws will not never favor you. If you want to get go outside of your race and date, go overseas. If you want to marry a black woman, go overseas. The laws here in the States are too far 
aligned with women. They're too far aimed at protecting women from everything. And it opens you up to, it's too far skewed towards women. It opens you up to being liable for something that she did, even if you didn't do anything. You are liable because you are the man. And that puts you into a position of, I could potentially lose my life or years of my life because I fucked around with the wrong girl. That's what that means. The law is heavily skewed towards women. You say one thing to a woman, she can she can sue you for harassment. You touch her wrong or she feels like you touched her wrong or hell you can don't even have to. You can't. You can't. You won't even be in the same state, and she'll sue you because it's you. Especially you're a high tier man. They will sue you for every damn thing. So let this be a lesson to black men and men of all races. American women as a whole, Western women as a collective, are. A, I don't want to say a hindrance, although they are. They are a liability in the sense of relationships. They are a legal, they are a legal liability. You say one thing, you're you're you are liable to get hefty fines because her feelings got hurt or got mistooken for something else. You're liable. So men, gentlemen, be careful of who you are around, who you are talking to, who you look at, especially at the gyms. Be cautious about who you're interacting with, especially when it comes to women, because these women would lie and say every little thing so that you would get charged for something that she said or did. That is the biggest thing that I want to sit here and say on camera, especially my young brothers. My young brothers, be careful about who you date. Be careful who you talk to. Who Be careful who you look at. Be careful who you allow to get to in your car. Be careful who you allow in your house. Because if that woman finds out where you live or you make her mad, she'll be willing to come to your house, damage your property, or be willing to... Be willing to call and a hit on you, if you know what I mean. These women are very, very deranged and very demonic nowadays. There's no way you can trust these women. You can't trust what they say. You can't trust what they do. Be careful. Anyways, that's my PSA to all the young men. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Support the podcast on Spotify.com. Like, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.